What's up everybody? Abby coming to you from Hula Monsters and Hula Fit. Today I am doing my first ever unboxing video because I hear unboxing videos are a thing and what I have inside this package is very exciting. I actually ordered a pair of the Marawa Rose Gold roller skates. I just started my roller skate journey and I wanted to open up the package with you guys so you can check them out along with me, get my first impressions on them and uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So this is a true unboxing video. I have not opened up this package. As you can see, it's totally sealed. So who knows, maybe there's cookware inside. I'm not even sure it's roller skates, but I think it is. I've been tracking the package like a maniac. And as I'm opening it, I wanna also tell you guys, if you're new to my channel, please like, share, subscribe, do all the things. Um, I'm going to be sharing a lot more hula hoop videos and I'm also going to be documenting my roller skate journey. So I am a play professional by trade. I'm a long time hula hooper and hula hoop instructor. I train hula hoop teachers um, through my company Hula Fit. And part of the reason I want to get these particular skates is because the person who collaborated with Impala Marawa, she is a hooper too. And I've heard that there's really cute imagery in the lining of the um, skates that have like hula hooping dogs on them, which is obviously a huge draw. I wanted a good skate to get started with, um, but the fact that this was a collaboration with a flow artist, hoop dancer, and a roller skate company was definitely a draw to me. Not to mention the fact that there seems to be a really big roller skate shortage because everybody is getting into roller skating again, which I think is awesome. Woo, yeah, all right, the box is here. Um, so when I saw these pop up in my size, I had to grab them. There were two pairs of roller skates I was looking at, these ones and also the Moxie Jungle Skates. And ironically, right after I ordered these, I found a site that had the jungles too. So yeah, I'm a crazy person and I ordered both pairs, but I'm committed. I'm doing the Moxie 365 Days of Skate Challenge. And if you guys wanna follow my journey, you can do that on Instagram. Here's where you can find me on Insta. I started a special account just for the skate challenge. So here's hoping I end up getting good <laughs> because I'm invested in it now financially and with the challenge. So, all right. Here's the box. Let me tilt this down so you can see it with me. Um, it is a really pretty pink box that says Impala Roller Skates. These are the Marawa Skates, the, um, the vegan ones, which is great. I'm a vegetarian. Ooh, they're pretty. I knew they were gonna be pretty. Holy moly. These are really cute. Yeah, there's peace signs on the inside lining and hula hooping dogs. That's like two of my favorite things dogs and hula hoops. So here's, let's see if I can show you guys the lining with the little peace signs and the hooper dogs. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, these are super pretty. So they're rose gold holographic with the marble wheels, marble toe stop, and all of the um, components are also rose gold. Super, super pretty skates. I'm definitely gonna be playing with these today. Let's see how they work out. And remember, I'm a beginner. I'm doing the challenge. I'm hoping to progress over time. So if you guys wanna follow my journey again, I am Roller Skate Monster on Instagram. And that's where I'm posting daily short little videos to track my progress. So yeah, first impressions, I mean, they're gorgeous. These skates are really, really super pretty. Um, I'm gonna test them out, you know, see how they roll. I will say this too. Um, let me tilt this up. My sister gifted me roller skates for Christmas, which was super, super sweet. Um, I got, I think they were like a $60 pair of skates, which were fine um, for the beginning of my journey. However, I am a tennis player. I played tennis in college and I have rolled my ankles more times than I can count on the tennis courts. And then one thing that's been a challenge for me with the skates that I'm using now is that it doesn't have very good ankle support. I can already tell by looking at these guys that the ankle support is solid. I need that because like I said, I've had a lot of ankle injuries and so I need to make sure that I'm protected up here. So I think these are gonna be great for that. Looks like it's probably gonna take a bit of time to break them in um, because they do feel pretty stiff, but that's to be expected with any kind of um, you know, vegan material. This isn't suede or leather, so there's gonna be a little bit more um, of a break in time, which is fine. I'm cool with that. The wheels, oh, they roll. I might loosen them up a little bit because I've learned that loosening the wheels a little um, can be a good thing when your new skates arrive. 
And all right, they're pretty. Let's try them out. Okay, so my first impressions on the rose gold Marowa skates from Impala, I really like them a lot. I definitely feel more supported in my ankles. Um, I have only been roller skating for seven days, so I'm just still taking it one day at a time, working on the very basics like going forward, not tripping over cracks, and just kind of getting comfortable with my balance. Um, so, you know, one day at a time. And I also think it's really important whenever you begin a new skill practice, not to compare yourself to others. So I try to look at other people's videos for inspiration, but not to like, you know, feel bad if they're moving further along at a faster pace than me. Um, this was true for my hula hooping. Also, when I started to work on learning hula hoop tricks there were no youtube tutorials there was like no place to go for resources i'm talking 14 years ago i was kind of just like watching other hoopers running outside trying to learn the tricks on my own so now i just think we're so lucky to have so many great resources available um in the hula hooping world and the flow arts world also in the roller skating world there are so many people that are just so open to share and give and teach and they do it out of the kindness of their hearts, which is awesome. And so that's also really inspired me to be better about posting videos. Um, so anyway, I don't mean to go off on a tangent, but I was just kind of sharing my thoughts um, overall, just about learning a new skill. But when it comes to these skates specifically, I like them a lot. Um, I, like I said, I think they definitely have more ankle support. They roll better too than the ones that I was using. So I feel like I'm able to turn a lot easier than I was on the C7 skates. Those are the ones I was on before. Um, not the C7 premium, but like the basic $60 uh, C7 ones. So I think the premium ones are a little bit better and more supported in the ankle area, I've heard. So that's really all I have to say about the skates. I'm going to continue posting updates and um, you know, kind of showing my progress as I begin to learn more on roller skates and break these bad boys in. I will keep you guys posted like if anything changes over the next couple weeks or months, um, but I will be using these skates consistently and I dig them. Happy skating everybody. Thanks for watching.